all right guys so let's go ahead to upgrade our virtual infrastructure first it was the file that is need for upgrade either for this center where SSI host or the virtual machines so with time time to time you can see pop up on top just below the address bar let's check right now okay one of let's check one let's inventory so let's check this as you can see new vcenter server updates are available no time to time the window life cycle um VMware Lifecycle Manager download patches. So based on that, we have this new release for vCenter. New vCenter server updates are available. And also for the XSI host as well, you can check compliance also at the cluster level. You can check it for the update. So you can now check the hosts that are not compatible. So that was three, two, and one. I've gone ahead to add the third host just to demonstrate the major patch upgrade. It PSI has three is version seven, as you can see it here. So we are going to go ahead to, to patch and we are going to follow the order based on so we have identified the need to actually upgrade the entire infrastructure starting from this center exercise and also definitely once you upgrade your exercise you need to upgrade the vm tools on the vm so that the hardware will be compatible with the test uh, exercise so this is the flow upgrade the v center then move to exercise then from exercise we do for virtual machine guys just to let you know that i have a full course on Udemy on uh, vmware vsphere so if you're interested in learning vmware vsphere you can actually enroll in the course it's for beginners to advance and i will leave the url in the comment below thank you so guys let's start with the vcenter we are following the route of reduce downtime upgrade for the vCenter so what we need to do is to click on the vCenter the top hierarchy then go to update so upgrade you scroll down just like the way I explained this slide we have five steps to complete also upgrade this vCenter so the first step is to mount the ISO so let's go ahead to do that I've already gone ahead to uh, upload the ISO file for for vCenter the latest one so here is it here so we are going to pick it up during the setup so let's quickly do that. We we'll go to our inventory. So we need to mount. So let's for the V center. So we edit the settings. So look for content library. So this is only how you should right now. So I click OK. So let's make it connect connected. So So we press next. So we just we just need to agree that we've done 
our backup. So acknowledge it. Then you can now press next. So let's move to stage three. Stage three is to pass the the plugin. So the current plugin is this based on this build. So we are moving to this version. So you click on upgrade plugin. So the process will start. So I will go ahead to pause the video. Okay, it's almost done. Eighty percent. Still ongoing. Right, so step three is completed. She's a plugin. So update. So the next thing is to click on next. So I can move to the next stage. Configure vCenter target appliance. So what we need to do is to click on configure target appliance. So we need to accept the agreement. Yes. So we have step up to step seven to complete. So what we're going to do is to take the first option, deploy in the same location as source. Post name, we don't specify any different parameters here. So just click on next. So you pick a particular XSI host. So you give the VM a name. So let's go ahead or give it a vCenter 2. Center zero two. So this is going to be a temporary password. Okay. So you put, go ahead to provide the server name and the password. Next, so we are selecting the add default, just click next. So let's go ahead to put it on the first data store and ensure you enable thing provisioning so I do not take up the space at once. Here you need to specify the network parameters. This is the network that the game will belong to. Version 4, the fully qualified domain name. So I've created the second URL, second host name for, for the vCenter. V Zero two. Okay. 
So temporal IP is a one nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot ninety eight. Subnet is slash twenty four. Gateway one nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot one. So basically, what we need to provide. Let me quickly check and confirm that this URL, this host name is okay. Let me just bring it to okay. That is resolving to so next. Something missing. Input feed show is missing. Okay. Genus one i two dot one six eight dot ten dot hundred. All right. So we are good to go. Finish. So we're gonna have to configure the target. So you can now click on next. So stage five she is to now do the proper upgrade. So we click on start upgrade. After that, you will now come to the next one, which is switch over. So let's go ahead to do start upgrade. So I will also go ahead to actually pause video. Then once this stage is completed or in between, we come back and review, then move forward again. Thank you. So in the process, you can still go ahead to do other activities in your view center. If there's need for you to actually work on your vCenter. So this is what this bring on the table. Instead of making your vCenter to be completely down during the upgrade, so you can still use your vCenter. That's why they call it reduced downtime upgrade. The upgrade is still ongoing. All right, guys, so let's proceed. It's 100% completed. So the next task is to perform switch over. As you can see on the screen, the switch over is in progress. Do not go back, refresh, or close this screen to the upgrade completes. So I'll still go ahead to, to post it. All right, guys, it's time to, to log in. Using the password provided during the upgrade on the target appliance. Uh, yeah, comp since we were completed, so let's go ahead to open the vSphere client. Great. So
All right, so let's log in. Good, we'll be able to log in successfully. As you can see, this is now the new vCenter O2. So this one is, the state is powered up. So it's powered up. So we can go ahead to actually do, do the cleanup. We can remove it from the inventory or delete it. So this is the current one that is in use right now. And check the version. So check the version from the hierarchy at top summary. This alarm will go shortly. So you can see the new build. Alright guys, all right guys, we've been able to actually complete the upgrade for, for the V Center. So the pop-up is no longer showing again for new updates is available. So we have come to the end of this video on the upgrade of V Center. So the next task is for us to go ahead to upgrade the exercise. So guys, see you in the next video. Thank you.